sounds great. How's that? That's great. Thank you. God bless you. You made Thank my you. day. Oh, no. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. You have, so a, nice. you have a great day. Thank you. It's going to be great now. <laughs> Volgens mij uh, wil hij vooral geld verdienen nu in plaats van met ons praten, maar dat maakt verder niet uit. I mean, and in most for sure, but uh, yeah. so I travel around, and you know, the clubs they they take their percentage. You don't make a lot of money. You got to pay for your travel. So, so yeah. I do that. I do that, but that I break. You know, I make a little money and break even, maybe. You know, so I come here, come back home to LA after I tour for a couple months out of the year, and uh, I was, you know, just working at Starbucks and all yeah. those kind of jobs you can take. And then after a while, I just the hell with it. I I sing, so. That's what I can do. Yeah. So I started coming down to Third Street Promenade over there and, and on the weekends. And, and then I started making enough money doing that to just, you know, to, to quit my jobs. And so I go, I tour and I come back here and I play on the promenade and then I play yeah. these farmers markets and I've gotten other gigs and, and occasionally do event, private events and things, you know. But if you're talking about touring, that's you by yourself. That's me. Or with the whole, or with the whole with, band. Sometimes or... with the band. The band costs more money. So yeah, of course. It's, uh, so yeah, so yeah. it's kind of just me. Yeah. And what kind of venues do you play? Folk, like? venue, folk and singer-songwriter yeah. type venues, smaller clubs. There's no happy ending, it's just predictable, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm but sure. isn't it hard though? To, I mean, of course, I'm, we're, we're joking about the fact that you're standing here in the sun and the palm trees and in Santa Monica, which is quite lovely, but you're still standing on the corner of the street and all the boxes with fruit are coming by. I mean. Don't you miss then a real audience or is Oh uh, sure. Yeah. I I mean I, the only reason I play covers, you know, songs that other people might know is to get people's attention here, you know, and not that I don't enjoy playing other people's songs. I do, but I I write a lot of my own songs. Yeah. But the only way to make any money, you know, is to get people's attention out here. So if they hear a song they know then you know that'll that'll bring people over. And sometimes there is a little crowd and sometimes everyone's uh, ignoring you and it's, You know, it's a humbling experience. I used to get really frustrated about it, but I feel like lately, as I, you know, as I get older, I'm just like, you know, wiser about it. It just happens to be yeah. who's passing by, how many people are in the market, yeah. how many people are interested in what kind, you know, what the weather is, what yeah, the, you know, all that different stuff. So, and what's a good day then for you? A good day? Yeah. Like right here, doing yeah. this for yeah. a couple of hours, two hours. You know, it's it's like you know, it's a few hundred dollars. You know, wow. you get like two hundred dollars. Like last week, I made two hundred dollars for two hours. Yeah, Man, you know, it's a couple more than bucks. I do. Right. <laughs> Tax free. CDs that you sell by yourself? I've, I've sold around a um, hundred thousand. You know what, I think in, in Holland when you sell a hundred thousand CDs, yeah. it's probably platinum. Right, <laughs> that's funny. I should go to Holland. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna bring you there. Okay. 